नमस्ते माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर स्मिता दातार आई कन्वे माई बेस्ट विशेष टू श्री मिलिंद रायकर जी हो इज पुटिंग हिज एफर्ट्स टू कंटिन्यू द लिनिएज ऑफ पद्मश्री पंडित डी के दातार जीज गुरु शिष्य परंपरा एंड हिज यूनिक स्टाइल ऑफ गायकी द सिंगिंग स्टाइल ऑफ वॉयलिन थ्रू रायकर अकेडमी ऑफ वॉयलिन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दातार फैमिली आई रियली अप्रिशिएट द कॉन्सेप्ट and efforts of this violin festival in loving memory of padmashri pandit dikhe datar the festival is organized by raiker academy of violin and indradhanush foundation for social welfare and this is nothing but connecting hearts in one language of music what could be the better occasion to introduce a book written by me Uh, the book name is dk datar the violin sings the book is in marathi and it is published by granthali prakashan uh, the second edition is in the market and very soon the hindi version of the book is being published i hope you will welcome the hindi edition as well dk datar as everybody knows he was extremely talented and gifted artist he was very disciplined and uh, his music had a sense of divinity to it with his riyas and his real skills he perfected his art and his technique was evolved into what became known as gaiki style of violin uh, his childhood had uh, it, uh, it was full of struggle because he lost his father when he was very young so his elder brother narendra datar he took lot of efforts for his music career uh, even uh, pandit dk datar he believed in his gurus despite all the honor and fame bestowed upon him he always remained extremely humble throughout his life his philosophy was that that an artist should be a good human being first and he must give back to the society Pandit Dikhe Datta's music always reflected his simplicity, hard work, and spirituality. I wanted his story to reach people, and so I wrote the book. I hope uh, the generations to come will find inspiration by reading this book, and this will enlighten their path of music and uh, their life. So I hope everybody will read the book. The book is available on Amazon, Book Ganga, uh, all the leading bookshops, with the publication houses, and with me as well. Uh, so, I again give my best wishes, and I wish all the success to Raiker Academy of Violin and Indra Dhanush Foundation. And I hope uh, this uh, journey of violin will uh, continue like this. and again i give my best wishes and thank you everybody namaste hello music lovers on behalf of raiker academy of violin and indradhanush foundation i preeti patel would like to welcome you all to the second day of violin festival celebrated as tribute to padmashri pandit dk data as we all know violin is one of the most popular instruments in the world but the origin of violin is still difficult to determine Since similar bowed instruments like ravan hatta and bela have been played in india for many millennials but violin in its modern form was developed in europe in the 1500s and over the next few centuries violin established itself as an integral part of orchestra it became one of the principal instruments not only in western musical concerts but also in hindi film industry Talking about Western music, let us listen to a very brilliant and amazing violinist, Mr. Michael Brody. To tell you more about Mr. Michael Brody, I request Shivani to introduce him to all of you. Thank you so much for giving me the privilege of introducing some amazing artists today. Michael Brody is a violinist in Western, North Indian, as well as Celtic music. It is so amazing that he has learned North Indian classical music as well through his violin. He gives sound and health through music workshops, which uses silence between musical experiences and expressions as a way to create 
greater awareness of the body, emotions, and the mind. He is also a very versatile performer and as an improviser has collaborated with vocalists, storytellers, and other very creative artists. He has performed in the US, England, Scotland, and India, including the International Festival in Jaipur. He recorded a series of CDs in India of Indian ragas for health, including Sumanas, Ragas for the Heart, and Riddhi, and Awakening Peace. Thank you, Michael, for accepting our invitation to perform today, and let us now enjoy his performance. Namaste, and welcome to my concert. I'd like to thank Milan Raikar for inviting me to play, and I'd like to also thank you, Shivani, for the lovely introduction. I'll be playing a concert of Western classical and Celtic music for you in just a moment. But before I start, I'd like to uh, thank my teachers. I was blessed with great Western teachers. I'm going to name and thank particularly my first teacher, Kazuko Kawamoto, who led me into the violin uh, learning in such a beautiful way. My Indian teachers, Guruji Viji Jog, my first teacher of Indian music, Acharya Rup Verma, and my current teacher and friend, Krishna Bhatt. Thank you. I'm playing to you here from Brooklyn in New York. I'll be playing some solo Bach, two pieces by contemporary Western composers, and then some Celtic pieces including some composed by me based on Indian ragas. So sit back, enjoy my concert, and I'm looking forward to playing for you. I'm going to begin my program now with two movements from the solo Bach partita in D minor for violin, the Alamand, and the Saraband. The uh, scale that this is in, which is really the harmonic minor, is very akin to Rag Kirvani in the Indian tradition, which would be... Uh, and then the uh, first phrase of the Alamand. again, the same notes. So here's the Bach. So I'm going to begin my program with the Alamand and Saraband from the Bach partita for solo violin in D minor. The uh, Alamand and Saraband in this movement are basically in a harmonic minor scale a lot of the time, which is this scale. Many of you will recognize that is also the notes of Rob Kirvani. pieces and so there are the notes so there you have the Indian and the Bach connection and here's the Bach
Next, I'm going to perform a piece called Lua Descolorida by the Argentinian composer Osvaldo Golijov, one of my favorite composers. This poem was written by Garcia de Lorca's beloved Rosalio de Castro. De Lorca is a great uh, poet, and it's written in her language, not Spanish, but Galego, the Spanish of the Galicia region in Spain. And in the notes by Osvaldo Golijov, it defines despair in a way that is simultaneously tender and tragic. The musical setting is a constellation of clearly defined symbols that affirm contradictory things at the same time, becoming in the end a suspended question mark. He wrote this piece for the luminosity of the voice of Don Upshaw, and it's that luminosity which I will try to produce in the violin.
My last classical western piece is also by a contemporary composer, a living composer, and good friend of mine, Rain Worthington. Uh, her music is very pensive, thoughtful, contemplative, and very lyrical. Uh, this piece is called After Thought, two words, and she describes it as an emotional reflection surfacing after a thought just a moment past. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. I'm going to continue now with the Celtic part of my concert, the folk part. I began studying Celtic music the same time I began Indian classical music. Uh, I had a friend who thought that there was a synergy between Celtic, particularly Irish at the time, was what he had in mind, which later expanded to Scottish and then other Celtic music, and Indian music, and I feel also that there is a uh, it's kind of a similarity in soul between the two musics. 
there's a lot of pentatonic ragas and there are a lot of pentatonic scales in the uh, Celtic music. And I've continued my learning and playing of Celtic music alongside of Indian music and my playing of Western music. Uh, just to give you an example before I start the Celtic music section, here's an example of two ragas that are both, uh, you could say, minor and major scale in Western. And the second one is really similar to the Scottish and Irish uh, music notes. The first is, are these notes. Rag Shivaranjani. And the second the ascending notes of Rag Bhupali, which is also the notes used a lot in the Celtic music. I'm going to start now the Celtic portion with two reels. One I call it fast reel. I don't know the name of it. And it's a, when you don't know the name of it in Ireland, I am told, you call it Gananam. So we'll call it that. And the second is a reel I wrote called Home Reel because I wrote it here at home. So I'll play both of those reels for you. is an air that I wrote based on Rag Bimpalasi. <clears throat> the Raga. An air is a slow lyrical piece, you could say contemplative in Celtic music. In this piece I call Air on Rag Bimpalasi.
Oh my God, what say friends? Wasn't that a very beautiful and lovely music from the West? I thank Mr. Brody for playing such beautiful music for all of us. Isn't that how music is known to cross boundaries? And so, after violin being immensely popular in the West, it was brought to South India by Europeans in 1790. And in 1800s, Baluswami Dikshitkar underwent training in Western violin. Having fretless fingerboard, he realized it was suitable for almost any kind of music. This proved violin to be perfectly suited for Indian classical music as well. The gamakas, kruti, kirtan, pallavi were natural on violin. Only the tuning and playing posture were different. So friends, let us hear and see yet another performance from South India. With immense pleasure, I would like to introduce to you all Sri Suresh Padmanabhan. Sri Suresh Padmanabhan ji had his initial training from his own father, late Guru Sri N. Padmanabhan, a retired music professor from Shanmukhananda Fine Arts and Sangeet Sabha, Mumbai. Then, from well-known Karnatak and Hindustani A-grade violinist Sri K. Shivakumar. And finally, from internationally acclaimed violin mysterio Padma Mushan T. N. Krishnan at NCPA. Thank you Suresh ji for accepting our invitation. I now request you to take us on a musical journey to the south. Hello friends and music lovers. This is the first Violin Festival 2020 which is dedicated to Violin Vartuso Padmasri Pandit DK Datarji. I pronounce to him. He was not only a well-known violin teacher but also very well-known violinist in the field of Hindustani music. This is organized by Raikar Academy of Violin and Indradhanush Foundation. I will be playing a small kriti in Rag Mohanam, set to Adital, composed by Saint Tyagraja. Thank you. 
Wow, that was so beautiful. Thank you again, Mr. Sureshi. Moving ahead, let me tell you how ballet made its way to Maharashtra. Later in 1920, founding father of Gandharva Mahavidyalay, Pandit Vishnu Paluskar was on his music tour to South India. He saw violin being played exactly like vocal music and was used for vocal accompaniment. Being impressed by what he saw, he invited Sri Sundaram Iyer to Mumbai for teaching violin to North Indian musicians. But due to his health issues, he couldn't stay longer in Mumbai. Pandit Vishnu Digambar Paluskar dedicated his whole life to bring music to every home and he succeeded. Contribution of Gajanan Bua Joshi, Sridhar Parsekar, Viji Zog to Indian violin is greatly admired. Popularity of violin was growing fast in Mumbai. Vigneshwar Shastriji was attached to Professor Devdar's Indian School of Music in Mumbai. There, Datarji started his violin lessons from Shastriji. Datarji continued Shastriji's legacy. Dadar Guruji always said that violin is a demanding instrument that calls for long, challenging riyas with sensitive touch. He further also believed that violin can do justice to Hindustani music if played in Gaiki style. Dadarji had a wide-ranging approach, which is why his music reveals the influence of Gaikis of Amir Khan Saab, Kumar Gandharva, Bade Gulam Ali Khan, and now Pandit Milind Raikar is working meticulously to carry Dadar Parampara ahead. Datarji toured abroad a lot. He got a very warm and enthusiastic response to his recitals from all parts of the world. The audiences were astounded by the purity of tonal quality he could create through Gayaki Anga on violin. Overwhelmed by his playing skills, Miss Leniki Van Stellen started to learn violin from Datarji. To tell you more about Miss Leniki's journey, I would request Shivani to introduce her to all of us. Thank you so much for giving me the privilege of introducing another amazing artist. Leneke Van Stellen grew up in a family of Western classical musicians and had her first encounter with Indian music in 1992 in New Delhi, where she studied with the violinist Sri Joy Srivastav. It was during this period that she discovered a first deep affinity with this music and its emotional depth and expression. After returning to the Netherlands, she continued her education at the Indian Music Department of the Rotterdam Conservatory under the vocalist Gustav Ray. She received her Master Diploma cum laude in 2003 and was rewarded with the prize for excellent performance. She continued learning the unique Gaiki style, or also called the vocal style, from violin virtuoso Pandit Dike Dantar in Mumbai. It's so amazing that she continues to teach this amazing Gaiki style even now. Nowadays, she performs both in traditional classical Indian settings, as well as in the cooperation with Western classical or world music ensembles, to name a few, Ananta and the Mantangi Quartet, which is an adventurous cooperation with many, many great artists. She's also a member of the Kailash Ensemble. All of these three projects delicately try to build bridges between the Indian and Western classical music genres. Leneke Van Stalen now teaches at the Indian Music Department of Code Arts, the Rotterdam Conservatory, as well as privately and gives workshops at universities and conservatories. Thank you so much, Leneke, for ac accepting our invitation to perform today and let us now enjoy her performance. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our concerts. It's a rainy, gray day in Holland, in the Netherlands. Um, but, well, we are going to lighten it a bit up with our music, hopefully. Uh, wherever you are, thank you for uh, watching, for listening to us. Um, a great thanks to Milind Rijkaard for organizing this a great event of one week full of concerts in memory of our Guruji Pandit Dike Datter. Um, there's a lot of people playing. Uh, I hope to catch several of the concerts myself. And um, it's great that he organized, that you organized this Milind and that, uh, well, we all take a moment to remember our Guruji who has meant a lot for us. I hope I can present some of that 
in my playing and I wish everybody who's playing this week a lot of enjoyment and well Dikadata brought so much amazing music into this world with such a um, genuine spirit and a genuine musicality that he will live on in our memory and hopefully in our music. I'm playing today with uh, my great friend Heiko Dijker and we'll be playing for you Raik Madhuanti. Thank you.
नमस्ते आई डॉक्टर स्मिता दातार ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दातार फैमिली आई विश रायकर अकेडमी ऑफ वॉयलिन एंड इंद्रधनुष फाउंडेशन अ ग्रैंड सक्सेस ऑन दिस वॉयलिन फेस्टिवल इन लविंग मेमोरी ऑफ पद्मश्री पंडित डी के दातार पंडित डी के दातार वॉज माई फादर इन लॉ आई रोट हिज बायोग्राफी टू पोर्ट्रे हाउ ग्रेट ही वॉज एज अ म्यूजिशियन एंड एज अ पर्सन टू In 2019, I wrote D.K. Datar the Violin Sings, a book in Marathi. It was published by Granthali Publication. Now the second edition is in the market. Very soon, the Hindi version of the book will get published. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy that people are liking it. My readers are increasing day by day. This book is a guide for young aspiring musicians as well on as everybody because Pandit D.K. Datar was a great human being too. His gaiki style was a unique style and I hope you will read the book. The book is available on Amazon Book Ganga uh, in many shops and uh, with the publication houses and with me. So hope you will read it and give me your feedback. Thank you once again and namaste. ऐसा पुरे जी वादुना रहे ते राग रागेश्वरी वर्ति आधारित है अंते का सटी में मजा मुलाला एक स्पेशल पीस वादुना करता पाचरण करना रहे मधे थैंक यू
you.